tips and other sharks. Incredible. Did you get sent there for work or was that just vacation? Uh, that was on leave. <laughs> okay. I was like, wow, I'm reconsidering my career. <laughs> That's amazing. What else we got? No one wants, no one can top John. Not how it works. I want to hear our favorites as I'm winding myself up in my tubes. There we go. No one else? Okay, I see a couple comments in the chat. That makes me happy. Like, Come on, guys, I know we spend time outside. Steve said, swimming with hundreds of hammerhead sharks while swimming around, I'm gonna butcher this, Yonaguni Island in Okinawa, Japan. Scary but thrilling. Sophia says, snorkeling in, Cal in Catalina and Half Dome at Yosemite. George says, climbing today for five hours up the canyon at 7,500 feet. Wow, we're a pretty badass group of individuals. We've done some cool stuff. Fair amount of swimming. I would say, hmm. <laughs> I'm a big hiker. I really like backpacking. And two years ago, I went to the Republic of Georgia and did a backpacking trip through the Caucasus Mountains. And that was pretty cool because it's not too touristy. Um, it reminded me a lot of the sound of music kind of frolicking through the hills. <laughs> All right. He says, Sophia and Sydney were in Half Dome as Alex Hanoid was doing his free climb up the rock. No way. That's so cool. That guy is actually from Sacramento, which is where I'm from but we're not all talented at free climbing. <laughs> we'll keep working our forearms and someday we'll get there. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're also not that crazy. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, that's really cool. I'd love to see that. Um, also, even watching a movie alone was scary enough for me. I can't imagine watch, watching him do that in person. I was like on the edge of my seat the whole time. Okay. We've got leg bands on, we've got cycles going, we've got water close by, we've got our brains in our heads. I think we're ready to get started. Let me angle this down just a bit so everyone can see. We have a slightly different, similar to stuff we've done before, but slightly different calf exercise today. So I'm gonna step my feet wide and I'm gonna kind of bend into my left knee. And as I do this, lift my left heel off the floor, keeping this leg straight, come back through center, working side to side, lifting alternating heel as you rock over to the side. And what we're doing by bending into the knee and shifting our weight, we're adding more weight into this calf so it has to work harder than if we just do this, okay? So we're adding a little different element to our calf work. So go ahead and take a bend in the knees. And we've got one minute working side to side, bend to the knee, lift the heel, other side. The, more, the lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. And you can do whatever you want with your hands. I like to do this for stability. Ooh. Try and fully straighten the alternate leg. So you can get a bigger bend and more weight into the working leg. That's it. Good. Now notice here, if you're slouching out, don't do it chest up, nice and tall. Awesome, half done. It's like a calf boogie, side to side. Get your butt even lower, try it. Yeah, fully straightening that leg. Awesome. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. All right. Next up, we have this one's fun. It is a high knee lateral hover. What the heck does that mean? I'll show you. This requires a lot of balance, but we haven't done a ton of balance work today. So I really wanted us to work into this. So I start with a high knee, so say your left leg's high, watch and then we'll do it together. I step that leg out to the side. As I do that, I lift, let me do it, yeah. My right leg off the floor. Drop it down, high knee, step to the side, hover. And we keep working side to side. Now, I don't want to just see like tipping and falling. I want to see a distinct 
lift, hover, lift, hover, okay? One minute, or we'll do 30 seconds per side because a minute per side is a little bit crazy. We're going in three, two, and one. So give me that high knee, step out to the side, get your right leg off the floor. Come back to center, hover the left leg. Step it out, hover, back, hover. Yes. And the lower to the floor you get, the harder it is. So challenge yourself by staying really low. Awesome. Amazing, last 10. Woohoo! good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work into the other leg. These look great, guys. Okay, so start by lifting your right leg off the floor. Step it out to the side, bend into that knee, straighten the other leg, get it out. Good, up and up. Good, time's rolling, 30 seconds. Good, see how high you can get each of the legs as you bring it up. So this knee, get it up really high, and this leg, get it up super high. Yes, amazing. Now we're controlling our body, last 10. Good, let me see one more for five, four, three, two, and one. Next up, we have forearm alternating straight leg kick. So this one is a little easier, if you want to call it. We're working specifically the glutes and the hamstrings. So I make my way down into my forearms, and I extend my right leg up, up, and up, 30 per side. And I want you to keep your leg straight. Do not bend your knee and kick it up as high as you can. The higher you can go, the more you're contracting your hamstring and your glutes, and that's exactly what we want. So make your way down into a forearm position. Extend your right leg back behind you. 30 seconds. Move fast in three, two, one. Kick, kick, kick. Now try not to let your right foot touch the floor. Keep it engaged. Pull your right big toe away from the body the whole time, lengthening back. Kick, kick, fast. Yes, up, faster. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knee, left leg back behind you. Keep the foot off the floor. 30 seconds, go. Up, up, fast, yes. So this is a really good one for hamstrings and glutes. Imagine I'm coming back behind you and I'm pulling on your left big toe the whole time. Keep your core engaged. There we go, half done. See if you can pick up the pace here. This is a very safe position to be in. If you have your bend in your knee, get it out of there. Eight, seven, good, six, five, four more, three, two, one, and rest. Hop on up. We have two more exercises. We're gonna get our heart rate up and then we'll go through them again. This next one is squat, forward kick. I squat, kick, squat, kick. You've got the idea, okay? So we had 30 seconds of the other ones, which one is intense. This one's going to be a longer, slower burn. One minute in three, two, and one. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Mm -hmm. So in the days when we don't do a lot of jumping, we do a fair amount of kicking to keep a heart rate pumping. Great. Let's see if we can get a little bit lower into those squats. John, that's amazing. Yes. Nice. Sophie and Sydney are doing zombie squats. They got their arms out the whole time. I like it. Jeff, perfect. Mm -hmm. Good, last 20 seconds. George looked good. All right, get those butts even lower. Good. 10 more seconds. See if you can do 
four more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Because we just opened up the hips with squats, the last exercise of this round today, the series of squats, is plank to squat jumps. So I'm in plank position. I jump up, squat, jump back. Jump up, squat, jump back as I throw my device on the floor. Okay? So let's make our way into plank position. Because it's a minute of this, you know what I'm going to say. Keep it as slow as you need to, to try and move the whole time. You can always pause and plank. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Jump up, hands off the floor, squat, jump back, jump up, jump back. That's the stuff. Good. And as you jump up, try and get the feet wide so you can get your butt low. Keep going. Awesome, half done. 30 more seconds. Good. Last 15. Nice, Jeff. Good. We have seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop on up. Because we just did a bunch of squats, instead of the squat alternate butt kick, we're just gonna do butt kick. 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Butt kick. Perfect. Good. Last 10, then we're going high knees, then we're going mountain climbers. We're gonna go through our circuit one more time. We're gonna jam onto core, and then we're gonna have a fantastic rest of our day. High knees in three, two, and one. Get them up. That's it. Run it out. Half done. Woo, get those arms going, maybe. Run into the finish line. This is the last time we're gonna do this today for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, mountain climbers, 30 seconds. Go for it. Time is rolling. This is amazing. Good. Have done already. Look at us. Last set of mountain climbers of the day. Let's make them great. Last 10 seconds. I want to see all out sprint. You're going to the very top of that peak. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up. Back to our first exercise of the set. Side to side, squat, heel, lift. So, I'm gonna angle this down so you can see my heels. Ta-da, awesome. All right, so, hip to feet, slightly wider than hip distance. As I bend into the left knee, I straighten my right leg, boop, left heel comes off the floor. Come back to center and switch. One minute, here we go. See how far over to the side you can shift? as you lift your heel up. So we're not just kind of like lifting, we are getting all the way over, weighting the calf. Even if we don't necessarily have weights at home, we have a body and we can use that. Nice. Good, maybe a little bit lower. <laughs> Half done. My calves are shaking. Good. We're also getting a nice straight stretch, the adductor, the inner thigh muscle on the straight leg. So it's a two in one. Last 10. Sink your butt down, get as low as you can. Uh, six, five, four, three, 
two and one. All right, next 30 seconds, we have the high knee lateral hover. So start by placing all of your weight into your left foot, get your right foot off the ground. Good, 30 seconds, we're going. Step that foot out to the right, bend into the knee, lift the left leg up, hover. Step it down, right knee up, hover. Step it out, hover. Step it in, hover, keep going. The lower you can go, the harder both legs are gonna work. Mm -hmm. This is also counts under the bucket of mobility, controlling our limbs in our hip joints, using our outer hip. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. Shift the weight into the right foot. Hover the left foot off the floor. Get that knee all the way up. Now we're talking 30 seconds. Go as far to the side as you can. Bend the knee. Get that right leg up. Come back through center. Left knee up. Mm hmm Time's rolling. Keep a bend in the knees each time you do it. I love it. Keep going. Doesn't matter what you do with your hands. Get those legs even higher. Yeah, half done. Mm -hmm. After this, we have three more exercises. Good, give me six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Great. So we did so well with this exercise on the last round. We're gonna do 45 seconds per side on this next round. So start to make your way down onto your form. This one, we're going for speed, getting that leg straight and lifted. So go ahead. Extend your right leg back behind you. 45 seconds to get up. Up, up. Let's go. Good. And my back stays nice and flat. It's supported by my core. Lift. No floppy legs. Really get it straight. Kick, kick. Feel the muscle of your hamstring contract and get the legs up there even more. Good job. Mm -hmm. Hop done. Let's have now. Good. Last eight, seven, six, higher, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the right knee. Extend the left leg back behind you. 45 seconds in three, two, and one. Kick it up. Good job, Instagram. Good job, Zoom. And if you're doing these right and you're contracting the muscles enough, they should get really hard after about 20 seconds, maybe even 15. Half done. Mm -hmm. After this, we're coming up for our squat forward kick. We have eight, seven, six. Give me three more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop up. All right, squat forward kick, and the toes slightly out, external rotation. Uh, I saw a couple people doing this and I really liked it. Try and keep your arms forward, zombie squat, the whole time. So we're also getting a little activation of our shoulders. What I don't wanna see is we squat, kick. Body stays upright the whole time, squat, kick. You're getting your foot to your hand, not your hand to your foot. One minute, ready, set, go. Squat, foot to opposite hand, and up. Good. Nice. Shoulders might get a little tired too because we're extending those arms. Try and keep your arms in line with your shoulders. Don't let them sag. Get those active as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Great, great, great. Awesome. 
This is our last standing exercise of the day. Got 15 more seconds. This is so great. Woo! Good. Last six. Give me three more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Going in for that last big push before we come down for not one, but two rounds of core. Plank to squat jump. So make your way down into plank position. We jump up, squat, jump back. Jump up, squat, jump back. One minute. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's roll. Nice, Kaziah, look good. Bonnie, great. John, amazing. Lizzie and Sydney, I see butts bobbing up and down, looks good. All right, there we go. Last big push for our heart of the day. <laughs> Last 20 seconds, you can do it. If you can't jump, at least step your feet up into that squat. Do something. Keep moving. Keep breathing. I know we can do it. Push through. Channel the you from 30 minutes ago. Strong. Optimistic. <laughs> Last 10. Give me three more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Everyone come on up to stand. Circle the hips out. Release them. There was a lot of squats today. All right, we've got two moves that we're doing for our core. We're going one minute straight, one move the second, rest, and then another minute straight. So we're not taking a rest between the two moves. We're only taking a rest at the end of the set. So our first move is star to hollow lift. I come out kind of like a big starfish. I lift up, I come down. I lift up, I come down. Our next move, I take my hands behind my head, lift my legs up, crisscross side to side, okay? Now, these star to hollow holds are deceivingly hard. If you can, get as much of your body up as you can and come back down, all right? 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Lift up and come down and up and come down. Awesome. Good. Ooh, I see it. They're hard. They don't look hard, but they're weirdly hard. Think slower, more muscular control. Nice, John. Last 10. Then we're taking the hands behind the head and doing crisscross legs. In five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head, crisscross. It's only 30 seconds. We can do it. Our intervals have been a full minute. As you're doing this, make sure your spine is pressed into the floor. If you want to move fast, move fast. Toes are pointed, legs are long. And breathe. Good. Half done. Work that core. If your back starts to hurt, lift your legs up a little bit higher. Take some of the pressure off of it. Eight, seven, six. We're going to pull the knees in in four, three, two, and one. Knees in, rock side to side. All right. We're going through that one more time today. So go ahead and spread your legs, your arms in opposite directions. Big starfish. 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Everything up. Everything down. Try and get your upper back, your shoulders off the floor. Amazing. Good. Last 10. Going all in. We only have 30 seconds of work after this. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head, crisscross legs. Time is rolling. Point those toes. 
imagine them coming around and I'm pulling on your big toes to lengthen your legs even more. So your inner thighs are activated to help you with the move. This is our last move of the day. So I want to see you go fast, half done. Mm -hmm. Keep pulling your belly button in, squeezing everything, even your glutes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, rock side to side. Grab the backs of your legs, kick them up, and let the heels fall down five times. So I kick up, heels fall down, and four. Keep pulling the knees into the chest as you do it. Three, two, extend the legs up and hold them. Walk your hands up your legs, keeping the back of your head rooted into the floor and flex your feet to press the heels up towards the ceiling like you're balancing a cup of tea or whatever you like to drink on your heel. Good, keep pressing, 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 active hamstring stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, knees back into the chest, rock and roll up to sit, and then come on up to stand. The last bit of our balance work today is going to be a stretch. You can hold on to a wall or something if you need to. Otherwise, grab your left foot or ankle with your left hand, open up the quad. If you feel like challenging your balance even more today, take your right hand, Grab the left foot in the right hand, so we're going to cross body, and take the other arm, reach up and over. Mm -hmm. Good, keep pulling that knee back. You can't see my arm, but it's like so. <laughs> Good, let's switch. Start by taking left foot or ankle into left hand to start. Keep back even if you can see me. First, pull that knee back, press your hips forward, zip your belly button up towards your chin. And then option of challenge balance, taking the foot into the left hand as you reach the right arm up and over. Again. And go ahead and release it. Hands on hips, rock side to side. Good, two times, big inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring them down. One more time, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring them down, hands come together. Awesome work, good job. Uh, please, if you have time and you're around, come tomorrow for mo mobility wad, wad being workout of the day. Uh, I think it's going to be really fun. I mean, it's going to be work and it's going to be strength, but it's going to be a lot of like that weird body control stuff that I really enjoy. So have a great day.